actually it is an overview of the role of neoadjuvant chemotherapy in oral cancers, locally advanced oral cancers, because the standard of care for locally advanced oral cancer patients is surgery and followed by adjuvant treatment. Then uh, we have looking whether there is a role of chemotherapy before uh, definitive treatment. And we have a meta-analysis some time back published in 2009 which showed the benefit of chemotherapy, adding chemotherapy in the treatment regimen and uh, it showed overall survival benefit of 5 percent. And neoadjuvant chemotherapy is being considered in locally advanced cases where su upfront surgery may be difficult or it is deemed as inoperable or unresectable. So, when you in our cases in our hospital 70 percent of our patients coming are almost having advanced cancers and 40 to 50 percent of total patients may be unresectable cases. So, they are actually either you have to send them for palliative treatment or we should consider chemotherapy and see whether they can be uh, taken up for surgery in a later period of time if they respond very well to the chemotherapy. We have presented a data of 720 patients approximately. It is a retrospective study. We have done induction chemotherapy in uh, Tata Memorial Hospital for local advanced patients. So, they were given the standard chemotherapy which is being used. It consists of a taxane which is paclitaxel or docetaxel as well as cisplatin. These are the common and sometimes we use 5 fluorouracil. So, either a 2, two drug or 3 drug regimen we use. We found uh, about 40 per 45 percent of patients uh, became fit for surgery after subjecting them to chemo and when we and then they were operated and given the standard of care. So, we compare the data which patients who have been fit for surgery with those who are unfit for surgery even after chemotherapy. The patient who received the standard of care means they have underwent surgery and adjuvant treatment they fared better compared to those patients who have received chemo and, and uh, just plain radiotherapy or chemo radiotherapy after the treatment. So, surgery has a great role, but some patients we give chemo, it enhances the chance of them getting operated. The standard of care is still the best uh, option, which is surgery followed by chemo or chemo radiotherapy or frank radiotherapy. It depends upon the risk factors associated with the tumors. And in case patients who are uh, not fit for surgical resection upfront, we should consider giving them neoadjuvant chemotherapy. At least 40 to 50 percent of these patients, we may be able to operate in a less le future date so that they will offer that will offer them a better survival. Mm -hmm.